All right, welcome back. You know, as I was getting comments and questions for the mailbag, I had noticed that a lot of them were a bit snarkier than usual. I don't know what it is. So I figured I'd reciprocate by featuring them in the mailbag. I mean, heck, it's the end of the year. Why not do it for fun? Now, not all the comments are being facetious. There are still some regular comments in here, but there are enough of them to warrant letting you know up front before anyone starts wondering why I'm responding to such trolling comments. Okay, I don't avoid them. I don't sweep them under the rug. I steer right into them. And we'll start with this first one that just says, Boo! <laughs> and then he immediately follows up with, Guy talks down. Well, let me ask you, are you up? I think not. Because this is coming from someone who uses a flip the bird emoji in his username so that he's literally giving the finger to anyone who comes into contact with him online. And yet he's so concerned with what he believes to be somebody talking down to him. Well, my friend, you need to give a little respect before you can expect it in return. Do you see the projection? They're always guilty of what they accuse you of being. He's accusing me of not being respectful in like my second video on this channel. And yet anyone with a flip the bird emoji in their username is not being respectful of anyone. It's all a projection. People will project their sins onto you. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right, next up. Making a turkey sandwich is just insanely low magic. All right, so the turkey sandwich thing. That's just something I picked randomly to show that whatever it is that you're doing, it's technically magic under Crowley's definition. I really could have used anything. I could have said, well, you could work out because it's your will to lose weight. You can get in your car and drive because it's your will to go to the store. Because you are creating change in accordance with your will in any of these situations. But I chose for my example going to the fridge and making a turkey sandwich and I've yet to live it down. In fact, one guy just published a book and he named me in the dedication, which I appreciate, but then he said, may you have all the turkey sandwiches that you can ever want. <laughs> now, I know I just revisited that clip in a recent video short, so that's my bad for reminding people of it. But truth be told, I don't even like turkey sandwiches all that much. I can't even remember the last time I had one. It's probably been years. So enough with the turkey sandwiches already. All right, so this comment was left on the new shirt designs. How does this comply with don't talk about magic, though? Laffy face. All right, so I have answered this before. I wear my mind and magic shirts around the house. I do not wear them out in public. You still do wear clothes at home, right? I mean, I don't know. You could walk around naked, and I would not judge you for that. But if you do happen to wear clothes at home, it doesn't become an issue if everyone in your home knows that you perform magic. Perhaps you're keeping it from your family or something, and you wouldn't want to do that. Now, I happen to live with my girl, and she already knows that I do magic. She just doesn't know the magic that I do. I don't discuss the magic that I'm doing. Wearing a shirt with the logo of my business on it isn't going to change anything. Now, if you live alone, it's not going to change anything. But if you live with other people, such as a family who doesn't approve of magic, well, now you have an issue. But there are some people who don't care if other people know they do magic, or they're in groups with other magical practitioners. That's not going to affect them all that much. The situation is really going to vary from person to person. There are going to be some people who have judgmental people in their lives when it comes to magic and the occult, and then there are going to be others who really couldn't care less what you do. So each person is going to have to use their own discretion and judgment when it comes to the merch. Like I said, I wear my mind and magic shirts while I'm at home, while I record these videos. I could just work in a comfortable t-shirt, and it's great. One of the perks of having your own home-based business is it can be casual day every day if you want it. You don't have to wear a uniform or get all dressed up as if you were going into an office. 
All right, this one's on the quitting magic video. Oh, no need to think hard on it. Just go ahead and ask Psycho Sorcerer, YouTube channel name of an ex-magician influencer you could find by searching his name, and you'll find his last video on why he quit after years and years. He had a great channel that was rising in fame, but he gave it all up and quit. And no, not the way you're thinking. He didn't convert to Christianity. Yes, I am well aware of Psycho Sorcerer, a.k.a. The Grand Infinity. I don't need to watch his last video because I know why he quit. I mean, I've spoken with him on it, right? He was chugging along and then something happened and he's like, I got to quit. So he got freaked out. He quit. And then he started some weird, bizarre puppet show <laughs> where, <laughs> where he would just poke fun at magic and the occult, including myself. He had an entire episode dedicated to poking fun at Frater Xavier. So that's what happened by my recollection. Some people just can't hack it in this business, man. You know, I like Psycho Sorcerer. I like Joe. But he opened the door for me to give him a hard time when he started talking smack about me with a sock puppet. I'm still looking for hidden links in the description, lol. I know you're just joking around, but, you know, I've been thinking about possibly doing that on a more regular basis. Like putting a hidden link in each month's Mystery School video for a free program. That'd only be 12 programs a year, in addition to any other major giveaways we have. And we gave a lot away this Thanksgiving. Um, I haven't totaled it up yet, but I know it was a lot. I know it's more than we've ever given. I don't know. I haven't decided yet on whether or not I'll be doing that, but um, I am considering it. We'll just have to see. This one's on the God Creates Evil video. It says evil, or another way of saying, I don't like it. Yes and no. I mean, it's true that because of polarity, each side sees the other as being evil, while seeing themselves as good. That is true. But there is such a thing as true evil. I mean, take the case of Coetting losing his channel because some guy was hanging on his forum who went out and took the lives of two women in brutal fashion. You know, that's evil. It's a little bit more than, eh, I just don't like it. A willingness to sacrifice others, and in this case, literally, for his own selfish needs. He did it for money. For the love of money is the root of all evil. It's a terrible reason, but at least he had a reason. There's a lot of evil that just destroys for no reason, just because they felt like it, many of whom are entity controlled. But it's not like there isn't a such thing as evil. It just depends on which side of creation you're on. You either see creation as a good thing or you see it as a bad thing. Most view creation and this life as something good. So if something destroys creation or takes life away, it can be considered evil. So, yes, there is a polarity aspect to it, but that doesn't mean that true evil doesn't exist, and there's a lot more to it than just, well, I don't like it. I mean, try telling the victim's families that the reason they think the guy's evil is just, you know, because they don't like it. Good luck with that. Should have put do no harm to anyone in his pack. <laughs> That's so wrong. It's just wrong. And what I mean by that is it's packed. P-A-C-T. But yes, he should have put do not harm anyone in his pact before he went out and violently slain those two women. Jesus. All right, this was on the quitting magic video. It starts working when you quit. Now, this person's not being a smart aleck. This is true. It does. Because you got your mind off of it. You gave up, therefore you let go. And then it manifests because you finally were able to let it go and keep your mind off of it. So yes, magic does often work when you quit. Law of least expectance. Love the new format. The flow sounds more natural too. Well, the new format is the old format. Because those are just clips taken from older videos. All right, we got time to do a couple more. 
I got the orange ball a while back too, and all I did was see the sigil. One morning, I was taking trash out back to burn, and I looked over towards the fence, and there it was, an orange tennis ball. I have no idea where it came from. I didn't laugh, but I did stop in my tracks for a moment and then felt this surreal awe. Yes, we're still having people manifest the orange ball in a multitude of ways. When it happens to you, let me know about it. Send your pictures, videos, testimonials, whatever you have. I always enjoy a good orange ball manifestation story. Perform magic to win at the casino. Won three jackpots in a row. Magic really does work. Blessed be. Yes, it does. And congratulations on your wins. Brandy tweets, there are three words Frederick Xavier taught me for when you have random negative visions or words pop into your head. Banish, deny, reject. Make it a habit and you won't have that problem for long. Absolutely. It's the first step to being able to fully control your mind. And I also had this picture tweeted out. Greater Xavier, Jupiter is indeed the planet of expansion. Here she is here, expanding. But I try to keep a better eye on her expansion these days. She is a lovely kitty who's seen one too many turkey sandwiches and is getting ready to hit that New Year's diet. And I appreciate you sharing her picture. All right, so that about do it for today. If you enjoyed my having talked down to you, then please leave a like. It does help others to find the video so I could talk down to them too. It's like minimal effort. Or if you really enjoyed the tongue lashing, consider leaving a super thanks or even joining the membership here on YouTube where you can get early access to videos and exclusive content. We have other tiers over at Patreon and Subscribestar for those interested. And of course, programs emerge over at mindandmagic.com. This will be the final video of this year as we reach the ninth anniversary of this channel. I want to thank you all for your love and support this past year, and I'll see you in 2022. Take care. All right, so this one's on the quitting magic video. Oh, no need to think. Oh, <laughs>